to the Three Stitchettes, presented by Martellis. Hello and welcome to the newest episode of the Three Stitchettes. Today we're going to start a series on quick and easy holiday projects. We'd like to start with the stocking, so join us. This is a Martellis template for an extra large size stocking. We'll talk about all our uses at the end of the show. This is how your Martelli stocking template will come. However, Suzette highlighted the information to help us show you what's on the template. Now, what we're going to do is we've placed our template on 22 inches of fabric by the width, so that's the whole width of the fabric and 22 inches measured and I want this stocking to come out at kind of an angle. So I'm going to set it just enough angle that it's going to be really hip. What do you think, Juliet? Is I think it looks fantastic. Right I can't there? wait to see this stocking. Okay, now Juliet's going to cut it out, and I can't wait to see it because it's going to be really cute. We like the funky fabric. I know how to do traditional, too. Do you see what I just did? I just turned the entire template closer to me so that I could cut properly without stressing my hand or my back. But because the template has the rubber backing, it didn't slide off the fabric. Look, I can move it anywhere I want and it never loses its position on the fabric. So that's a good thing to know when you're sewing. Cut so easy. Oh, this is, these cutters are <laughs> It's amazing. already Whoa, falling sorry. off. <laughs> it just cuts so easy. I love those blades. And now that all the cutting is complete, we're going to just reach over, take our fabric. I'm helping. That's fine. <laughs> slide it away. We don't need that anymore. Here you go. Pick and the template up. Ta-da! Yay! All right. So to sew the stocking, what you want to do, since we took this directly off the bolt, you want to sew right sides together. So we're just going to flip them inside out. So the printed side of the fabric, where the design is, faces the inside together. as you're sewing. Correct. Both Got printed it. sides inside. Is Suzette doing the sewing? Yes. I'm going to okay. take it right over to no, her. No, no, no. You have to pin it. <laughs> Suzette can't sew unless it is pinned on oh. every little edge. Not so every edge, mm -hmm. but occasionally. That's, all right, we can pin it. Yep. I'm a good pinner now. Yep. We got a lot of pinning experience with mom. See, Jay, Jeanette and I, we, we, we like to sew by the seat of our pants and just go for it. Suzette's our precise sewer. Everything has to be yeah. perfect. That's why her projects all come out right. great. And she doesn't have to undo all her stitches sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I wish my sewing machine could do reverse sewing, you know, where it just takes the stitches back out again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take that back four or five minutes. Yeah. Though, I had a machine once that would tell me when my bobbin thread was low. Ooh, that'd be But nice. I lost that one in a flood. I am so, so maybe sorry. one of these days I'll get another one of those, and it would beep for me when my bobbin thread. How, how many times have you sewed something, and gotten five feet away, and realized your bobbin thread was out? That was uh, last night, yeah. actually. Yeah. I think that's good enough. We'll get this corner here, and uh, there we go. If you've noticed, this stocking is quite wide. It calls for a half inch seam as opposed to our normal quilting one fourth. As you can see, I'm going to use the full foot, and you. this is a snap-on foot. The small bar here will allow me to take this foot over to the machine. Here I have the foot ready to be snapped on to the armature of the sewing machine. I'll snap it, put it back up, and get it ready. I'm going to start at the top of the stocking, making sure that the thread is through the foot and I put the foot on the edge of the fabric that gives me the full width that I need. I'm going to back up a little bit just for some extra strength there because I'm going to turn it right side out. I'm going to sew all the way keeping the edge of my foot on the edge of the fabric. If you've noticed the needle is at its far left setting. A full half inch 
seam all the way around and I'm going to follow the edge of the curves. And this is a good place if you have the opportunity like this wonderful machine, you can slow your machine down just a little bit and you feed it through so that you don't have buckling. And look, my sister's pinned this. Hmm. <laughs> all the way around and you can see that I normally sew with my machine at half speed around a curve so that I can avoid a pleat or a buckle and I give my and I like the way they pin them so far away because I'm not having to pull the pins out and I'm not sewing over them I'm going to lay it flat and go up the curve here up the curve The curves in this stocking give it some personality. Here we go, coming to the top. I'm going to stop, push my reverse button, go back a few stitches, and go off the edge. And this wonderful machine will cut my thread for me. And there, I can take the pins out. Suzette did a great job show, sewing this, even if she criticizes my pinning. But with a half inch seam allowance, it doesn't really matter. So All right. what we're doing now is we're doing an easement for when we turn it around. We're going to make little cuts so that when it's turned, it will be able to turn properly. And we're going to actually, on this area where it goes in, when you turn it inside out, we cut out little points. Or if you have pinking shears like Juliet does, you cut this with pinking shears so that the turn will ease. What we're talking about is that when this is turned inside out, these pieces will go together and not bunch up because they have that extra room. And it really helps with the way that the stocking looks when it's all ironed and ready to go. There are very many options for using this template to make your Christmas stocking and you know hostess gifts something for the office nice big present sister gifts sister gifts <laughs> if you're changing the theme of your holiday decorations you can make all new stockings every year as That's I know I know a lot of people that change their theme we used to do it every year change from purple to green or white that was Haley and I's Christmas event. So now what we're going to do is turn it inside out and iron it. How do you need to iron it? Right sure. inside out. It's inside out from what it is right now. <laughs> Get her girl. I'm very <laughs> dyslexic, so they make fun of me all the time. But it's so much fun. She's correct. <laughs> it is inside out. This well actually I'm Liz Dexic because I'm so dyslexic I can't even say dyslexic. Nice. Yes. <laughs> At least you don't have CDO like me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to say what it is? It's OCD in the correct alphabetical order. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to use the roundabout. Um, then in our very first episode, Suzette made a case for the carry case for this. So you'll remember that one. This is the ironing top, which is amazing. You set that on here. We're going to bring over our stocking lay it out if we don't steam when we press. We are pressing to secure those seams and to make them nice and flat. Why don't you iron back and forth? Because if you iron back and forth, what you're going to do is you're going to stretch that fabric. If you're going like this back and forth, your poor fabric is going to get all wonky and out of shape. So what happens is quilters will go or sewers will go up and they'll go, well, how come mine doesn't look like the pattern? because they ironed it and they stretched their seams out of place. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some options, aren't we? I have a little color here. I cut four inches of an accent color that matches this fabric. And we have the option that we could actually sew this here. We have an extra unsewn stocking here so we could have two stockings if we chose to. And I have enough for both. 
and we can have a little accent color on it. And we always add a loop to hang it with. This is another option. Martelli also makes what I call an elf stocking. So this is one, and then the standard would be two. You have two different options for as far as shape goes. But once it comes to the stockings, you have so many options. This one not only is the elf, but Suzette put a drawstring on it so it could be used as a gift bag. This one was done with strip piecing. Simple, easy, just used a little piece of batting behind it, laid a strip of fabric, laid a strip of fabric, cut out the template, folded it down, you've got a stocking. Same with this one, she used all of her scrap pieces and some of her beautiful stitches off of her Janome. Look at those pretty stitching on there. Cute. This one is very simple. I used a fabric I had at home for my young granddaughters. And at the top, this is just that cotton blanket soft fabric that everybody uses and I just cut, folded it over. So did it at the top, folded it over, no seam necessary. And as a matching, I used this fleece, fleece as a stocking and put the fabric at the top. This one was quilted by hand. Suzette did this one, correct? No, I no. did that one. Oh, Juliet did this one. This one's quilted. It's machine quilted. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to hold it at an angle so he can see more of the texture. So, I also put a lining on this one. This right. is an option. This is one that I wanted to stick around in my family for a long time. So I said, you know what, I think I'm going to put a lining inside there. It's really cute. So this isn't one that's just going to be right. used as wrapping or whatever. This one I'm going to keep for a while. Because it has this beautiful contrast, this nice, it looks like candy to me fabric, and then the lining. That's really nice. Thank you. All right, this one is done from the pre-quilted fabric. You can buy it in almost every fabric store. Here, I'll put it right here. And this one is an old-fashioned pre-quilted fabric. It comes with the batting. It's already been quilted. You cut out the stocking, and then you, it's pre-lined. And all you have to do is fold the top over, and it's an accent on it. It's really cute. Quick, That's a easy, great and idea. simple. And Jeanette used a lot of ribbon for hers, and that's how she made the little, what do you call these? Loop. Loop. The loop. little loop on them with the pre-quilted too. Right. And this is another elf stocking. It's so cute. And here's another gift bag made from the large stocking. Suzette made this, or did you? This is no, your... No, Suzette made that one. Are you going to fill that one for me, Suzette? Maybe. <laughs> woo We have some more. Do you want to go over there? Suzette's got those over there. Here's a few more that we've done. This one is a pieced, quilted, large stocking. Take a look at this one. That's my favorite. Me too. Thank you. Janie took a decorative stitch and followed a pre-printed fabric and made this wonderful stocking. This one might have to go home with me. This is what a stocking looks like when it's just fabric and a simple layer of batting inside. Just makes a decoration more than anything else. Uh -huh. Janie made this one with a piece of fabric machine quilting around the designs herself with corresponding fabric and thread. Beautiful. This one is simple but I put a different top on it to give it a little bit of personality. And this one is a gift bag, drawstring at the top, and hopefully it can be filled with lots of good things for the holidays. Go ahead and contact us with any ideas that you have uh, for future episodes. Or if you saw one of the stockings you'd like to learn the technique, please feel free to contact us. We'd be more than glad to answer your questions as well. Now, for a little teaser about our next episode, because we all have long hair, we like to pull our hair back. So we're going to make matching head scarves for you and one for your dog. Bye, everybody. We'll see, see you next, next time. time. Tell me where you wanted to stop. Right, I want to go from I. The first part was okay, and start again, over again, picking it up. And you were on such a roll. <laughs> oh, right. It's not sewing. <laughs> uh, the thread must have come.
<laughs> I'll get a fuzz off first. This one Janie made from pre-quilted fabric, but she accented it with yeah. a... No, ma'am. You didn't put the she pre... She quilted it. I can't even shape oh. that. Thank okay, you then. very much. Start I'm that one again. <laughs> quilted that by you hand. A piece of this fabric. is the first time in my life I used machine quilting. Well, then he'll have to he'll do I a focus. Do you want some? No. We can all have the same no. color lips? No. <laughs> no. Yours isn't good enough This is me. the... You bring over what it is that you'd like to press. Lay it out here. Bring your iron over. I love this iron. This is the mini travel iron. 